This is a mechanical calculator from the Schubert Company from the early 1970s. The Schubert Company was founded in 1936 by the then designer of the Thales Rechenmaschinen Company, Mr. Emil Schubert, after he had broken up with the Nazis and then had to leave the Thales Company. After Emil Schubert's death, his son took over the company and the Schubert DRV calculating machine was manufactured. In 1952, the company moved into new business and manufacturing facilities. Here are some pictures from the Büromarkt trade journal from 1957. You can clearly see the manufacturing hall, the meeting room and the reception room. Back to the Schubert DRV, probably one of the last to be built. It is a hand-operated four-species machine, which was built robustly and works excellently. The machine was made usable again with crawling oil, window deicer, and now, after a treatment with fresh oil, it runs perfectly again. It also got new feet. The old ones were no longer usable after all the decades. The main components Input pins and input control register Rotation register and result register The delete levers The lever for the carryover function. This is later explained. The control lever for switching the carriage for division and multiplication. There are two control levers at the positions on the machine. On the carriage and next to the drive crank. Which lever is used depends on the user but the lever beside the crank is more convenient. Some calculation examples. Addition. The following numbers are now added. The commata sliders are used as markers. During the addition, the crank is turned clockwise, for the abstraction in the other direction. Multiplication. Now, 
777 times 777 is multiplied. The carriage is switched one position each time with the levers. Here is the result. 603,729. This number can be re-entered into the input register with the carryover function as shown. Finally, a division. The carriage is switched into the right position. The number is entered in the counter and the result registers are cleared. Then the crank is turned for subtraction until a bell is ringing. Then the carriage is switched one position ahead each time. Don't mean I'm blind 